Let's take that and welcome Steve Hughes. Hey. Uh, big issue. I thought I'd get that out of the way. <laughs> it's good to be here in Melbourne, this is good. This is a... I, this I live in the UK now, I used to live in Ireland. It's good, don't you, if you've ever been to Ireland. It's very strange if you grow up in a continent as big as this and then you go to a country that's that small, you know. It's, it is, it will, you know, because you get to Dublin, it's got Belfast, 188 miles. That's the other end. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's, it, it does fuck with you psychologically. You're like, this is... <laughs> I mean, there's blokes in Australia that can mow Ireland. Do you know what I mean? Like, fucking, you know what I mean? Half a case of beer Saturday afternoon. And... <laughs> and fuck you, I'll do Scotland tomorrow. So, uh... <laughs> and yeah, we'd go and do these shows, you know, in these villages in Ireland. And it's with a good friend of mine, this Irish comic, and we went to this village and. This county, and I go, so what's it like around here? He goes, oh, it's a bit inbred around here. <laughs> oh, and he goes, oh, this county, this, this village, it's, it's a bit inbred. <laughs> how can you be inbred in a country this small, mate? I mean, how lazy do you have to be? <laughs> you can't get on your bike and go 20 minutes up the road to fuck someone not from your family, mate. <laughs> See Australia, where's the next town? 5,000 miles? You fuck your mum, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. I've just been, I've been in uh, Europe actually, just doing some, uh, some shows in Belgium and Amsterdam, I like Amsterdam, you probably guessed that. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, well, it's a great place, you know, they, you know, they, they treat you like an adult. In Australia, I grew up in this place, it's not the same country I grew up in, it's so rule obsessed and health and safety and political correctness, and uh, it's, it's, it's happening all over the, the industrialised world, but this country is just, just mental, you know. It's, it's 30 years it's been, you know, illegal to drive a push bike without a helmet. <coughs> no one else on the planet does this, you understand? Australia, it's Australia, mate. Have you got your little helmet? <laughs> your helmet? Make sure you put your helmet on. Yes. Amsterdam, you've got a city, they sell pot, they sell mushrooms, you've got women, 30 years old, they've got two kids with a homemade basket strapped to the front of the handlebars, driving around the city that's, you know, next to a canal with no fence. <laughs> Australia, God, if you had a canal with no fence in a the city, there'd be a big sign, big fence, don't go in the water, you fucking idiots. <laughs> You'll all fall in the water and drown, 50 buck fine, don't go in. <laughs> Amsterdam, is your bike wet? Yeah, well, you're on the wrong bit, dickhead. <laughs> so, Jesus. And then it's just smoke pot, which is great. I can't believe marijuana is still against the law in a world that's filled with such global criminal activity done by the ruling elite banking systems and various governments. <coughs> and I can still go to prison for smoking pot. Yeah, because, you know, well, it's bad for you, Steve. Is it? Well... <coughs> I've been smoking it for 30 years. There's nothing wrong with me. I look like I live in the woods, but I'm not fucking mental. <laughs> They don't tell me it's bad for me, though. No. I used to smoke so much pot growing up, I had a poster of Bob Marley in my bedroom. In it, Bob was wearing a T-shirt with me on it. So... <laughs> fuck you. Is that three minutes? What's the three minutes? Three minutes! What the fuck is that? <laughs> three minutes. What is a fucking half a head job? What is that? <laughs> I better go then. I'll see you later. Really.